Okay, today let's talk about the club they call La Fiera or the Wild Beast from Mexico. This is Club Leon. This is their home kit from 2020, 2021. I grabbed it during that season, which is why it's missing the third star across the top of the badge because they won the championship during that season. It's by a company called Pirma, as you can see on the back here. Don't have a lot of kits from them, but I do like this one. Fits pretty well. On top of that, home colors of Emerald, which lends them the same nickname, the Emeralds. They're one of Mexico's young-ish clubs, which is kind of funny seeing as they were founded in 1944, and that's a while back. They're also actually almost immediately successful, seeing as just a couple years later in the late 40s and into the early 50s, they won half of their league titles, a total of eight at this time, four during that period. The 60s and 70s is where they took a lot of their success within cups, winning five each of the Copa Mexico and the Champion de Campeones. They also won the 2021 Leagues Cup, which is a relatively new tournament between MLS clubs and Liga MX clubs. You're going to see it coming up in a larger format coming up at the end of July. This club has also bounced to the second division at times within their history, seeing as they've won it four times, a joint record, in order to return to the Primera. You can count three rivals for them, two that are local, with the oldest being Union de Curtadores, also based in Lyon. Also in the region is Irapuato. And the third, because they're owned by the same group, is Pachuca. Here are your two key pieces of history about Lyon. Most importantly, they were Mexico's first ever Championissimo, which is an honor that's only been achieved by five different clubs. And what it is, is winning the league and the cup in the same year. They did it first in 1949 and have only been followed by Chivas, as well as Cruz Azul, Puebla, and the Coxa since. The second is the revival of the club in the early half of the century, seeing as they took four cracks at promotion from the second division during the first decade and finally achieved it in 2012. They finished fourth in the Apertura and then finished undefeated in the Clausura and through the promotion final against the winner of the Apertura, went up to the Primera. The wild thing is that after just four tournaments later, they were by Championis, winning two tournaments in a row, something that they had done for the second time in their history. Off of that, let's lead into former players because we can talk about two that were key to that success. The first being Mauro Baselli, the Argentine, who was their key goal scorer during the period. He actually racked up 130 goals for Leon before returning to South America, where he currently is playing in his homeland at Estudiantes. The second being their captain at the time, the great Rafa Marquez, who played there for a stretch of three seasons before moving back to Europe for one last stint at Hellas Verona before coming back and retiring at his boyhood club of Club Atlas. And it's important to mention their all-time leading goal scorer with 136, that being Adalberto Lopez, who was key during their 1949 Championissimo season, and a man they nicknamed El Dumbo. Let's mix in a couple players from their current squad, with a key one being the Chilean Victor Davila, who has already started to put his stamp on the club with goal scoring from the center forward position. The man I consider to be their key goal scoring threat right in front of him in the last two tournaments being Lucas Diorio. So I hope you enjoyed this one about Club Leon, the Emeralds from Mexico.